Hi, this is Steve Leone at InterSolar 2012 in San Francisco. Uh, I have with me as my guest, Bill Elwell, uh, Vice President with SPG Solar. Thanks Hi. for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we, you know, we've, we've entered this kind of this era of large-scale solar. Right? You, you're seeing projects, you know, even under construction, but certainly under development that are the multi-multi-megawatt scale, mm -hmm. and it seems to be kind of the, the prize of the day. But, you know, yourselves, you, you focus on more of the commercial scale projects, the, the smaller one megawatt, 20 megawatt type project. Mm -hmm. Explain why that is. Why, well, why not the Uber utility scale? For one, there's a, uh, a pretty significant difference in skill sets when you're developing a, a large scale solar farm versus when you're trying to sell and develop a project to a business owner. Mm -hmm. um, there's no land entitlement issues, there's no uh, CEQA environmental issues, things like that. So our sweet spot is you know, 250 kilowatts to five megawatts selling directly to a distributed generation client, which is really somebody who you're interconnecting the solar on their side of the meter and they're using the power for their facilities. I mean, do these projects, how, how quickly does a project turn around um, at that scale? We can, so a, a one megawatt system from the time you contract it, design and engineer it to constructing and PTOing the project per permission to operate mm -hmm. under six months. Yeah. So we're, we're it's rather quick. quick. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, is that the, is that the short term future of the industry? I mean, we, we tend to look at residential because hey, it goes on your home. We tend to look at large scale utility because man, that's large and it's, to, you know, we've never done that before. But, you know, with this smaller, you, you know, commercial scales, which you could make the case it's kind of a, the, the lost market a little bit in terms of the headlines, mm -hmm. uh, but it, what's that going to look like in the short term? Yeah, as far as headlines, I think it got lost a little bit with some of the larger projects, and, um, but in the future and the near future, I think it looks great. I think there's the California, the Arizona market still look very strong mm -hmm. for commercial, small commercial and large commercial installations. And then in the future, I think distributed generation will really be the uh, mainstream for the industry, meaning clients building their own systems to help offset their own rising energy costs. Okay. Why is that? Why, what's going to lead us there? Well, for one, I think uh, utility scale systems are going to be a challenge. I think they're going to, they're uh, a large burden on the, the grid. Uh, it's increasingly harder and harder to get uh, interconnections mm -hmm. approved. But interconnecting behind the meter on the client side is getting increasingly easier to do and less expensive. Um, and it's becoming more mainstream. The clients are more aware of the products and the technology. There's better financing available for it. So I think that that, in, in my opinion, I think that that's what's going to drive the industry forward over the long term. So what, what are the markets you're working in now and, and maybe looking ahead, what are the, the markets that are going to open up for commercial development? Well, California and Arizona are uh, going to continue to be very strong markets in the near future. Uh, New Jersey will most likely rebound and be a, uh, a continue to be a good market because they have some good incentives and they're pro-solar in that state. Uh, Massachusetts looks like a great market and is, is building a lot of solar. Um, continuing out west, you're going to have Colorado, New Mexico, Texas is, uh, has some, a lot of solar projects going on. Um, but yeah, I think as incentives and costs come down, a lot of solar markets will pop up around the country. Okay, let's let's shift gears a, a little bit. A, a kind of a different section of, of, of your company is, is uh, the tracker based sure. products. Uh, let's talk about trackers. You you have uh, a, a product you're introducing that's uh, weather based, so it's uh -huh. an all weather, uh, which would allow tracker you know, tracker utility or mm -hmm. smaller utility um, in places like where? where, where so, we yeah, so we've designed the system and we've branded the system as the all-weather tracker. We really wanted to eliminate any barriers into markets. So we've engineered it and tested it to withstand 155 mile per hour winds, 50 pound snow loads, to allow it to enter into the Puerto Rico market, the New Jersey market, the Massachusetts market if needed. Um, Florida has a lot of solar that can and will be, the resources are great there. So we really wanted to design a product and a system that can be deployed anywhere as the markets open up. Okay. Well, great. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by and enjoy the rest of the show. Great. Thanks. You too.